by God, that was an awful performance. That was honestly probably the worst I've seen us play this season. No, it was by a distance the worst I've seen us play this season. Um, Wimbledon, I want to, I want well, not congratulate them. Obviously, they won't be feeling that because they lost, but. Wimbledon, I will say that, you know, you have, we were lucky today. We were extremely fortunate to come away with three points. You know, Hughes at the very least should have nicked a draw out of that game. Or not even... Actually, it's to be truth be told, even saying nicking the draw is hard on Wimbledon because I thought, first half, they should have probably been 2-3-0. They should have been out of sight. Sunderland really, really struggled to get going. And, with, and Wimbledon, out of the teams that I've watched us play this year, have been the ones that have given me the biggest scares because their physicality and their intensity were right in Sunderland's faces and we were struggling to deal with it all the time throughout the first half. Even you argue throughout the first 60 minutes, we were really, really struggling to get into the tempo, their tempo of the game. You know, um, um, and even the second half, I think second half we improved a bit, but once Catamore, one of the first Catamore's first goal got in, um, you know, I thought we would probably go on to win the game or more likely to because Wimbledon put so much effort into that first half, I think they tired to some extent. Um, you know, so Wimbledon, honestly, I don't know what, Wimbledon fans in the comments, tell me what your objective is this year. If it's to stay up, you'll be fine. Based on that, I think you'll, I think you'll be more than all right. As far as, as far as that goes, yeah, you, you, I think Wimbledon have been the team that impressed me the most because they've really caught us on a day where, you know, they created chances that should have, they should have scored. I think what was a factor as well is that we played, if I'm right, seven, sorry, three games in seven days. Sunday last week against Scunthorpe, Wednesday against Gillingham, and then obviously this weekend playing um, playing AFC Wimbledon. But so next week against Oxford, really, I would expect a better performance because we're going to have a fresh week. No excuses for me, and I'm quite glad Oxford won today actually because they could have potentially gone into the game against us on zero points, and we know along comes Sunderland. What happens there? But you know they beat Burton today, who are really struggling, mind I must say. But. Um, you know, I'm, I'm obviously delighted with the win. I'm, I'm not happy with the manner of the performance, but look, you're going to get games like this. We are, we, you know, even if we won pretty much every other game or two thirds of the games this season, we're going to get really some shocking performances. We're going to get some games where we have to really grind out a victory and games that we actually don't deserve to win. Today was one of them. You would even argue, I think you could even argue, we didn't deserve a point because, you know, Wimbledon again created a hatful of chances. They created loads that they should have scored, really. Um, but is that the sign of a good team? I'd like to think it is. I'd like to think it's the sign of a good side that you can come away from home in the league, be shocking for two thirds of the game, and then still can be battered for large parts of it, and then come away with three points. That's got to show some character and that's got to show what we're about as a team. What's encouraging is that three of our five games this year, we've come from behind to win. Uh, obviously Charlton, Gillingham and now um, AFC Wimbledon. We can't keep relying on that though. I think we need to start to get into a position where we're not 1-0 down every game. And that is, a bit of a, that is a bit of a concern actually because defensively today we were all over the place. Um, I was talking to Pete after the game and he thought that against Gillingham we were very, very bad defensively. I'm not so sure we were. I thought for 15 minutes of the second half with Gillingham and 1-2 chance they created. But other than that, I thought we kept them out fairly comfortably. So, to summarise it, Great, we're second in the league, how we? League Catamore to the rescue, come from behind to win again. Um, that's given me real encouragement for the season based on how shocking we played today. We've got it in us to win, but I would like us to perform a bit better. But like I said, you're gonna have games like that down the road. Leave your comments below guys, like, subscribe and all that malarkey. And we're second in the league. Hopefully move up one more position and stay there for the rest of the season. I can dream, can't I? See you later.